The year is 2084. If they told me what the world would become, I would not have believed them. First, there was the nanophage, the disease of transition. A digital plague that swept across the land, killing thousands upon thousands of augmented souls. A heavy cost for meddling with our minds and bodies. Then came the war, the big one. The great decimation. The West killed the East. The East killed the West. There were no winners. Except for Cairo. The corporation seized power and forged the Fifth Polish Republic. A crooked empire of blood and ash. There was no one left to oppose them. But still, we endured. And so it goes. The rich get richer as the poor rot away in their hovels, desperately looking for ways to escape reality. I am what they fear, a corporate tool of oppression, a despised leech that creeps into your dreams and feeds of your fears. If you don't remember, if you won't remember, that's when they call me to access you to gather evidence, to dredge up whatever's hiding in the darkest corners of your mind. My name is Daniel Lozelski. I'm an observer. Sinking in three, two, one. What up, freaks and geeks? My name is Glowarm, and welcome to Observer. Now, I saw Cryotic play this game, and uh, he seems really, really interesting. And dear God, that is a little too loud. Way too loud. Now, if you saw all the stuff in the beginning of the game about the epilepsy and, shit and stuff like that, this is not a game for you. And I recommend you guys that have very, very a lot of problems with epilepsy and seizures with uh, bright lights flashing and stuff glitching out. I recommend this video is not for you. Also, if you're 17 and under, I recommend this video is not for you either. Because apparently it is a rated M for mature game. But you guys are not going to listen to that. So first things first. Uh... Turn everything down. Alright, video. Okay, no. Alright. We'll be getting into the game now. Just let me uh, know in the comments below what you guys think of this game, and I'll just probably keep doing videos. And I have a new buddy of mine. His name is Frankie. Say hi, Frankie. <laughs> yes, Frankie, we know you're sick. You're the common cold, as it says on the tag on your ass. Uh, the common cold. It literally does say it on his ass. Press X to continue. Oh, I did not see that. Lazarski, you there? <laughs> Come in, Lazarski. Woman, I was having a nice nap. What do you want? Lazarski, you there? I I don't want to answer. It is 10.03 a.m. Why am I out here in the middle of the rain like this? Come in, Lazarski. Hey, who are you? Fine. Yeah, I'm here. You okay there? I've been hailing you for the past five minutes. I'm fine. I must have dozed off. No rest for the wicked. How's the dream eater treating you? Well, I'm not a vegetable yet. Could have fooled me. Hardy heart. I'm serious, Dan. Your signal's all over the place. Have you taken your meds? Sorry, just readjusting my mic here. Uh, I... I'm saying do not worry I about it. In a moment. Do it now. I need you in good shape. Fine. Oh. 
Wow, I look like a beautiful son of a bitch. Uh, take pill. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Looking better already. Yeah. Wouldn't want me to mess up. Can you see the headlines? Another leech goes berserk. Don't be like that. It's just... Yeah, yeah. Shoot it up for me! Come on! This is the age of shooting it up. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't need a babysitter, so you don't have to tell me when or not not to take my pill, all right? So don't give me that. You don't need to check up on me. I can take care of myself. Sorry, Dan. Company policy. Of course it is. Any work for me downtown? Nothing so far. No one left for you to interrogate. Sounds pretty bad. Yep, not pretty. The explosion leveled half a block. The place is still on fire. Corporate goons all over the place, securing the area. You mean covering their asses? Whoa, what the? Careful what you say. This is a monitor channel. Who is this? How'd you get this frequency? Don't you recognize me? Adam? Yes. Well, what's left of me? Dad. What happened? Where where have you been all this time? Away from you? It's funny. Thought it would be easier. To hear your voice after all these years. But it really isn't. Come on, Adam, don't start. I really thought I could pull it off, you know? We're so close to making a difference, to setting us all free. And now it's can't be for nothing. Doesn't matter. Tell me where you are. I'll come and get you. Shit, Dad. For once in your life, just listen to me. Whatever happens, I need you to remember you're not in control, Adam. Can you hear me? You still there? Adam. God damn it. Dad? Dad. Matriarch, display caller ID. Displaying now. Krabinski. That's no. Matriarch, locate source of last call. Triangulating coordinates. Come on. Location established. Tenement building. Class C district. Jesus. Adam, the stacks. You just had to hit bottom, huh? Rock fucking bottom. Okay. What is happening here? I do not know. But oh my god, it appears we're in the age of the cyborg. That looks very scary. I just can't imagine though, in order to live this long after those, what they said in the main storyline here, is it morally right to wear these mechanical devices to keep us alive? That's my moral decision right there. I mean, yeah, it would be cool to be a half machine, but what? Enough machines keep us alive for a certain amount of time. Depending on what our condition is and what we suffer through. And would a society even get like this? To where it's basically just like the Matrix controlling everybody. This is very interesting. It's a very interesting aspect of the game. Oh god, that- oh god. I swear I'm gonna end up having nightmares after this. <laughs> Uh, 
Before I do anything else, I need to, uh, not that, that, uh, controls, that I already know, gameplay. Okay. Hello. Are you talking to me? Sorry, I didn't. Oh, oh, it's you. Ah, uh, that's that. Need to get out. What? Easy there, Tin Man. I'm not looking for trouble. Oh, tenant. Huh? Uh, yeah. I'm um, sort of. Name. Uh, Lazarski or gonna? I'm gonna do second Grabinski. one. Grabinski, Leon, Grabinski, Tenant. Oh, apartment seven. Uh, oh, ground floor. Through the courtyard. Turn right. Turn left. Straight ahead. Turn right. Yeah, I got it. Backwards and forwards. Thanks. Mm, door open. You don't say a lot, but my god, dude, you look bald as heck. Why Why did the screen just... Okay, whatever. The state of art holographic displays offers re virtual reality great immersion. The mighty processor would handle even the most complex calculations. The kinetic interface allows for maximum comfort and efficiency. That looks like a VR headset for PlayStation and uh, the other VR headsets. You can just tell where this is going, probably. I bet you this game is also for H H uh, VR. Ooh, laser precision, stellar performance, out of this world quality, down to earth price. Macron six tattoo gun. Oh, okay, so that's that. That's no. That's not what I want. Oh, we are. Attention, citizens. Curfew is now in effect in all Class C districts. Remain in your apartments and enjoy your chosen holographic content. Thank you for your cooperation. You can just tell we are in the age of basically like the Matrix controls everything. Oh my god. Hello, security camera. Can you see me? Can I? I can't even jump. Nice. So. I'll go ahead and close that. Just be nice and generous. Uh, tattoo shop, ventilation, ground floor. I am guessing I'm right there. Zero, seven. Ah, there it is. So. Just down the. I guess this way? Yeah. Oh, God, the lag. I am not liking this at all. I heard some growling. This is it. Oh. This does not look good. Adam? Oh my god. <gasps> oh lord! Where'd the guy's head go? This is Lazarski, ID 65621O. 
Can anyone hear me? All right. Fucking great. Oh, nice. Okay. Nobody can hear me. Maybe it's not him. Doesn't have to be. Operational efficiency restored. Oh. This is Lazarski six five six two one zero, setting up a crime scene. Ah! I need to check the victim's compass for connections. Aha! H N, gotta start somewhere. Ooh! Six million volts wasn't enough. Six million volts, dear God! And a stun baton? Jeez! What is that? The little. There we go. Victim is equipped with an ID mixer. Huh. Identification not possible. Damn it. I have it. Oh. The head was removed post mortem. It's possible the killer took it. Motive unclear. Who would take a severed head? Seriously? ID check failed. Time of death. About an hour ago, before he called me. About an hour ago? You got to be. You gotta be kidding me! Erratic cutting pattern, indicating the killer was in a frenzy. So this shit was fresh. Uh, let's see, anything else? Aha. Uh -huh. Collateral damage or evidence disposal? Well, I mean, it's a computer. Oh, this does definitely look like the Matrix. Oh my god. Printed on real paper. Huh. A little archaic for you, Adam. George Orwell, 1984. Hey, George Orwell. Nice. Dude, these are classics. Nice book. So. Nothing. Nothing. Alright, so. What's this? A Crimson 7 Chiron Incorporate. A processor chip. Ah, oh, these are awesome. Alright, let's just search the rest of the house. Aha! Anything else in here? There's a microwave. Oh no, that's a basket. What's this? Huh. Looks like a computer. Oh, this is a motherboard. Okay. Huh. Yeah, it does look like someone did some damage here. Weird. Alright. Have to check the bathroom. Because you know everything goes wrong in the bathroom. Oh, what's this? Uh, it's a... It's a dick pill, it looks like? Synchrozine refilled. Synchrozine? What the hell do I need a synchrozine for? Okay, no. Okay, no one in the bathroom. That's a lot of blood. Homo sapiens, no type found, no match found. Contaminants detected, failed to extract forensics data. Why is everything so loud? What the hell is this? Controlled substance 45F, better known as feed. You'd never touch this, Graham. Illegal psychoactive substance feed. Is this more powerful than LSD and crack? Ugh. My son was taking drugs. How dare he? You insult me, Adam! Can't pick up anything else. Oh, well, there's a can of sardines. I'll take that. Adam, so this is your apartment. Doesn't mean it's your body. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll go with that. 
Holographic frame. Huh. Very interesting. <laughs> That's cool. A lot of high tech shit, but a lot of old school stuff. You never cared about this. The hidden data storage. The oh. encryption is too complex for my hacking tool. I'm taking it with me. Might be able to decode it later. Ah. Nothing. Just absolutely nothing. We found a storage device, but the ha encryption's way too advanced. Wait, what? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is that? That is nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh huh. Bingo. What is this? Oh, maybe like on the book? 1884? No, it was, uh. Oh, what was it? I can somewhat sprint. 1984. Oh, God, I had it all wrong. Uh, everyone's gonna hate me now. 1984. Nice. Whoa, what the? What the hell? Ooh. Ho oh, ho ho. Someone was a hacker here. Someone was a for real hacker. Wow. Downtown Inferno. Tragic accident or a surgeon attack. I'll have you guys uh, read that. You guys can pause the video and read it. Because I don't have time. I probably don't know. I'm not done. They know. Listen, I know you're a busy man and all. But we gotta talk. Now. I think they're on to me. For real this time. I'm almost certain someone followed me home yesterday. And today I saw this weird guy outside my window. Excuse me just standing there. If you can't guarantee my safety, then I'm out. I got enough problems as it is. H N. R E complications. As far as our little mule goes, don't worry. I can manage her. She's not like us. She knows she's in over her head and it clearly terrifies her. You can't expect too much from a simple mind. F mind. From now, just focus on your work and leave the human relations aspect of our project to me. For the time being, calm down and maintain focus. Eyes on the prize. J. P. S. Glad you like the piece. I think it captures the essence of what we're trying to accomplish. What are you trying to accomplish here? Damn it! They're all corrupted. Home security. I've deactivated the apartment security system. Leaving the crime scene. Cool. Alright. That's one dead body found, I'm guessing. Guess that was the security system? Uh, I like that red jacket. I'll take that one. This just doesn't feel right. You're still alive. I know what. Oh, oh Jesus! What? Oh God! Oh no! Oh God no! Oh! Okay, okay, what? Okay! Okay, what's going on here? Help me! Ah, oh, Jesus! Fuck! What's going on? Somebody! Anybody! Fuck! No! Hide in the bathroom! I can't open it! <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> oh my god, that gave me a heart attack! Uh. Hello? KPD, I need to talk to you. Huh. 
Get away from me, man. I got a piece on me, and I ain't afraid to use it. No, you don't. Now, calm down. I'm just looking for some answers. Oh, I know how you get your answers. I got nothing to tell you. You will answer my questions. You will pick up is more like it. You son of a bitch. All right, let's try you. Nothing. Damn it. Well, I guess I gotta... Well, first off, what do I gotta do? Uh, find Adam. Identify the caller as HN, and then interrogate the neighbors. Okay. So I'll interrogate neighbors for right now, see what the fuck I need to do. This door is locked. What is this? That is the bathroom. What are you? Uh, something... Something... Some dude. I'll just take that. I cannot see myself in the mirror. Does the water turn on? The water does not turn on. Can I, tur can I flush the toilet? The toilet does not flush. So I'll just close that. And what about number two? Hey, you there. Come here, quick. What? What is it? What's up with the lockdown? Is it the phage? Was there an outbreak? Uh, I don't know. Too early to tell. I'm looking into it right now. Looking into it? Are you out of your mind? We might all be infected. You don't know that. Best thing we can do is stay calm and... And let them come and slaughter us? I won't let them take me. I won't. Okay, Mr. Paranoid. Uh, that, this is what happens when you stay in an apartment for heaven knows how long. Nothing. Hello? Okay, nothing. What is this? Oh. Someone has not been keeping this bathroom clean. I'm just gonna... Close that. Yeah. Let's just leave that alone, shall we? Can I come in, sir? Okay, fine. What about you? KPD. Ah. I need to ask you some questions. Do you know what's going on? My hollow projection got cut off. I, I can't get a signal. The building is under lockdown. No external connection. Not much we can do. Shit. Sounds serious. So, yeah. uh, you wanted to ask me something? Uh, yeah, about 10 and 07. Do you know who lives in apartment 7? 7? I didn't even know anyone lived there. Uh, hey, you wouldn't happen to know when they're going to fix the connection. Not that it's, like, super important to me or anything. I just need to know. TV junkie. This is what I mean when the Matrix takes over. People are just going to be glued to their TVs and not having to do anything. Kind of like what I'm doing now, playing games for you guys. Uh, you yeah. just take it easy. I'm sure someone is already working on it. Oh, good. It's just that it feels weird to just sit here. Alone, with my thoughts. You know, can you talk to me some more? It makes it kind of easier. Uh, sh sure. Well, what can you tell me? Well, what do you want to talk about? Oh, um, uh, yeah, you know. Uh, Gorski the Giant was fighting Killer Cromer today. You an AMA fan? Uh, not really. Sounds like you are. Of course I don't know who won since my projector went out. <sighs> Why are my hands shaking? Uh, previous lockdowns. You've been living here long? Oh, well, I, uh, uh, it must have been at least seven or eight years. Ever had a lockdown before? Um, I don't think so. I don't remember my projector going off. Ever. You've been in there for seven, eight years? Damn, dude, clean out the apartment. Get out. Get some fresh air. Please, sir, for the love of God. Sorry, I don't have time for this. Oh, okay. Uh, I understand. It's no problem. I'll just sit here, alone. God, I'm really starting to sweat like a pig. <laughs> Hang in there. What do you think, Pigeon? Do you think everybody's gone crazy? I think they have. Can I open this door? Nope. Uh, let me talk to 
Well, since their was already open, let me talk to number six. Hi, this is Tom. Hey, Tom. And Irene. <laughs> Hi, Irene. We hope you're having a positively peachy day. Oh, we sure do. Sadly, we're not in right now. <laughs> but you can leave your message after the beep, and we'll get back to you as soon as we're home. Yay! Oh, I mean, beep! <laughs> Why am I playing this again? It is not to hear these people leave a voicemail about their sex life. <sighs> it is weird how the doors are all made up and everything. It's like nobody knew how to build a door. Number eight, tell me something. What? What do you want? Got a minute, sir. KPD. Oh, God, they're here. The cleaners are here. Really? I'm just a detective, sir. Uh, great. Guess this is the kitchen area. All right, number 10. None. All right, cool, fine. Whatever, be a dick. Number nine? Hey, PD, I need to talk to you. You broke it. No, you broke it. Nuh uh. Will you get these kids to shut up? I'm fucking talking here. Yeah, what's this about? Hey, you from Brooklyn? Sweet, bro. Hey, you know the, the fool over in the number seven? Do you know the tenant in apartment seven? Shut up, snitch. I thought I told you to shut up. Seven, huh? Nah, can't say that I know the guy. Okay, so it's a guy. Yeah, well, seen him once or twice. I might have a vague recollection. Could you give me a vague description? Maybe. What's it to you? Ah, oh, it's police business, sir. Police business? Just answer the question, and I'll get out of your face. So that's how it's gonna be, huh? Why don't you knock on that door and see for yourself? Can you describe him or not? I don't have time for games. All right, all right. Younger fellow, probably in his 20s. Well, anything else? Nah, I never really got a good look at him. Medium height, medium built. He was just kind of there, you know? Ah, cool. Uh, anything suspicious? Hey, yo, dog, anything suspicious? Because we're in Brooklyn here, okay? Have you seen anything suspicious around the building? Any strangers skulking around? Nah, I don't pay much attention to the other tenants. Bunch of losers. A lot of them. You are so dumb. Not as dumb as you are. Nuh uh, you're way dumber. Shut the fuck up! Not upstanding citizens like you. You bet your ass. Good thing we'll be getting out of this dump soon. Is that right? Yep, I've been working my way up. I even filed for a status upgrade. Once that goes through, we'll be moving to a B-class district in no time. Yeah, good luck with that. Okay, so from what we heard from a uh, Brooklyn boy over here is that uh, our perp is, uh, t or the guy who lived in that apartment that we just checked, which was Adam's apartment, or our son's, was about 20s, million build, and all that fun shit. Anyways, hello? Nobody. Okay, cool. Hello? Let me in. Son of a bitch. Is anybody going to answer the f damn thing? Huh. Oh, wait, I can hack? Oh. No way. Ah, dude. I'm a hacker. I'm an official hacker. Oh, sorry. God, it just lagged for a second. How about you? Nobody. Alright, cool. How about you? God, is anybody gonna answer their damn phone or their damn thing? Wait, what the? Why did the music start picking up all of a sudden? 
Come to the door, please. Just want to talk. Who are you? Did Chiron send you? I'm with the KPD, if that's what you're asking. Seriously? We haven't had a cop around these parts in... ever, I guess. Well, you've got one now. Yeah, good luck. You're gonna fucking need it. Okay, I guess that was everybody. This is a nice car. RC device, custom, no match found, erratic wave frequency, unable to trace source. Huh. Door unlocked. Hello? KPD? Anybody home? Nice poster. With fire and sword, spiders. Remove your transplant, it looks like it says. Why can't I get over? I can't see Jack over there. Voices from below. Don't believe their lies. The plague is still out there. Ah, very nice. No data. Programs. Oh, shit. This is a game. Hell yeah. Those bloody spiders again? Okay, that was easy. Oh, wait. Oh, lovely. Nice. Yay! I can only get to level three. Well, that was actually a fun game. Following messages did not deliver constantly. My dear Annie, by the time you read this, I will no longer be among the living. The details are not important, just know that I went out with, on my own terms. I won't ask for a proper burial. God knows you don't owe me anything. And by the time the cleaners are done with this place, I'm, I doubt there will be anything left of, of me to bury. Just know that, for all my faults, I have always loved you. Just like I loved your mother. And the disease took her. A part of me died that day. Simple displays of affection became a foreign concept, a painful reminder of what I've had lost. It does not justify what I've put you through, but it is the truth. I am so happy you've managed to get out of this hellhole and find something, someone worthy of your love. I wish you both all the best. Love, Dad. Aw, that's sad. That is so sad. Come on, dude, you have so much to live for. Your daughter was awesome. By the way, that's a gorgeous table. I need to do a table like this. Have it hanging from the ceiling. That would be pretty cool. All right, I'm just gonna close the door on that one. So, hmm. Janet to left the door open. Okay. Oh, hey, that was like in uh in front of the other area. So he's got two mic. What was he doing? Was he DJing? Was he making videos like I am? I Man, I don't even have enough money to buy two. What was that? Refill. What the hell are these things for? Okay, it's a dog tag. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play your game. The wall stands tall. Our brave boys and girls continue to defend us from the eastern hordes. Oh damn it. Dang it! I'm gonna let you guys read that. Go right ahead. You guys can Pause it and read it if you want. All right. Uh, ground floor. Of course. Uh -huh. Two agents. Helena Novak, apartment 104, and Hannah Nader, apartment 106. Both on the same floor. Okay. Cool. And second floor, third, basement. There's more sword. Yes! Level three! Those bloody spiders again! Nice! 
nós. Ah! Play again. Dang it. Gotcha. Ha ha. Oh, fudge in heaven, man. Play that again. Ah! Keep going one above. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right, come on, spider. Come on, move it. Move your little eight-legged bitch-ass face. I got the woman. I got the woman. Yeah. All right. Well, it's only three levels, so. Anything else? Question aisle, Mr. Jodowski. I'll let you guys read that. You guys can pause it if you want. Alright. So I think that's. <gasps> Jesus! You again. Not a good idea to sneak up on me, you know. Out. Fuck you, Baldy! Fuck you! Don't ever do that to me again! Gah! I'll beat the shit out of you, bro! Ah! I had to check the tenant register. Authorized personnel only. Alright, bitch. Well, I was in a hurry, and the door was open. Authorized per 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 personnel only! It's police business, sir. You cannot get in the way of the police. Police business. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what you are. Oh, yeah? Back during war, took one alive. Sent for one. No few. To get into his head. I am not a threat, sir. That is way in the past. I have no idea what exactly happened back then, but that is way in the past, and you don't need to worry about it no more. If you're worried I'm gonna snap, don't be. They don't even let us carry guns anymore. <laughs> not worried. Bust. Worry. Bust. Most things. So, we already knew he grew up, fought in the war because of the dog tag we found. You fought in the big one. Is that why you got all this junk in you? Plasma sweep. Hit our convoy. <sighs> Borrowed through armor. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring back memories. Yes. Memories. I just like to say this, I am proud to be an American and to say thank you so much to our veterans for all that you guys have done. And yeah. What can you tell me about the tenant in apartment 7? Uh, uh, tenant? Yeah, tenant. How long has he been living there? Yeah, maybe longer. Not good with time. You ever talked to him? Didn't get out much. None of them do. All right, Tin Man. Let me know if it comes back to you. Of course, none of them got out enough because they were all glued to their TVs. That's what was going on. Uh, lockdown. Something triggered the lockdown. Mm. Trying to get it open. Rudy and I. You think it might be the nanophage? You had any recent outbreaks? No. Last one. Long time ago. Down by the river. All the, the implants. Bad. The implants. So I'm guessing these implants uh, can go bad at any time and can actually destroy our insides and make us go feral? I take it Rudy's the robot. 
multifunction service and maintenance. Drone, don't lose it. What? Mm, wonders of sometimes. I need to track manually. Is there a way out around here? Can we lift the lockdown from the inside somehow? Or get a message out? No. Keep people in. Isolate, accommodate, alleviate. Yeah, we all know how that last one used to work. Oh, yeah, I can imagine that these this guy's been suffering some PTSD all over him. I mean, he's a military veteran. He's got half his face gone. Well, hell, he has his half his body gone. So, yeah. All right, I'm heading out. Can you give me full access to the building? Uh, uh -huh. Assistance. Unstable. Unlocked. What I could. Thanks. You better stay here. There might be some very nasty people out there. Nasty. Uh, huh. Bad. Look, just stay safe. You know what? I never got your name. I'm Dan. Huh? Name? Janus. Like a Roman god. <laughs> you know. Sorry I gave you a hard time earlier. Good to meet you. Janus. So we know the guy's name, Janus. Awesome, dude. I love your name. Like a Roman god, as, he's as he says. That is awesome, dude. And it seems to me like they've had speech impediments going on here. Either because they've been sitting in their apartments too long watching TVs and not gotten out and talked to people, like we have. Or maybe because these robotics are affecting him somehow. Anyways, that's about all time I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, hit that like button. Comment, subscribe if you want. And I will. See, and if you guys want me to play some more of this, please leave a comment down below saying yes, no, or I don't give a frunk. Alright? And I will see you guys in the next one. Stay freaky!